Well, it's Christmas week, and I've been spending some time thinking about the word light this season. You know, in the book of John, it starts out by describing Jesus as the one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. And then a little bit later in John, in John chapter 8, verse 12, Jesus actually calls himself the light. He says, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. I want us to remember that phrase, the light that leads to life. A little bit later on, Jesus says in John chapter 9 that while I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Okay, so now obviously he is not physically present in the world anymore. So where is the light coming from? Well, if you go into Matthew uh, chapter 5, Jesus says that you are the light of the world, meaning us, meaning his followers, meaning those who have him in their life. And I just want you to think about the fact that every day of our lives on this earth is a gift. Every day is a gift. And if you have Jesus in your life, then you are the light of the world that this world needs. So I just want to ask you today, what is your life looking like to the world around you? Is your life adding light to this dark world? Or is it not? When you live your life each day, do people see Jesus in you? Do they see the hope and the joy and the love and the grace and the compassion and the forgiveness that he gives, that he offers us? Because my hope for us this Christmas season is that we are people of light, that we are the light of the world. Because if we're not, if we decide to just keep it to ourselves, we bring nothing to this world that needs the love of Jesus. So let's be a people of light. Let's be a people who bring the light of the world, the light that leads, that leads to life to the people around us this Christmas. I hope you have a great Christmas week. Merry Christmas to you all. Have a great day.